before we start, let's make sure we have some very basic setup out of the way. Uh, we need to make sure we got node installed and uh, npm should be available as well. Uh, if you don't have this, you should probably get that first. You can go to node.js.org and install the download the installer and then you should have these two available. Once you've got these two installed, the next step is to install the Angular CLI. I use npm for this, npm install, and uh, I want this installed globally, so I pass the dash g flag, and the name of the package is at, at angular slash CLI, and this is going to install Angular CLI on your, uh, on your machine. And I'm doing this globally, so it's available for me, respective of whichever path I'm on. So I can use the Angular CLI command, which is ng, and here I'm doing a dash v option to print out the Angular CLI version, uh, this time it's 6.1.2. This is obviously going to be different when you're watching the video. So now that I have Angular CLI installed, I'm going to be able to create a new project from it. Uh, the way to do that is using the ng new, and I'm going to create the name of the project, components in depth. Uh, this is going to be the name uh, of the project that we're going to be using for this course. Uh, I'm not going to pass in any other parameter except for the style parameter because I wanted to use the SAS file, a CSS file, instead of CSS. That's the only parameter that I'm going to be passing to Angular CLI. Uh, apart from that, I want the rest to be just the default. I'm not going to opt in for routing because in this course, we're not going to be covering routing. We're just looking at components on its own. So I'm just going to create a new project with this name that should trigger the new create project script, which is going to create that project. And it is also going to do an NPM install. So it's going to install all the dependencies that this project needs. And now that it's done, I'm going to be able to open this project in Visual Studio Code. And here it is. Here is our package.json with the Angular version 6.1.0, which is what was current at the time of me recording this video. Now what I can do is run ng-serve. So I have the command prompt open here. I'm going to say ng-serve, and this is going to start the development instance, and uh, I can access the page on a browser. And here it is. I'm accessing localhost colon 4200, because this is a server where that it the project has been made available on. Now I can leave this window here, and as I edit my code in this window, it is going to automatically reflect in the browser. Uh, I'm going to do, the very first thing is to remove all this example code that's generated by default by the Angular CLI. I'm gonna delete this and press save, and all that goes away in the browser. And uh, similarly in the component, there is this one line which is a part of that example code, I'm removing that, and now we have kind of like a clean slate for us to start developing.